Hello, my name is Anwash Rajal, and in this video, I want to show you how can we provide APIs um, that can not only query your internal database and expose that information via that API interface, um, but also how can we modernize existing web services APIs and then available make the information available via REST. Okay, so in the, the first example we're going to look at is going to be this get product. Um, this is actually listening on on this endpoint here for get products and what this is going to do is very simple it's going to do a my it's going to do a select and it's going to query my product database and then on the next step we're going to transform that information and make that information available via in the in the JSON format right notice if down here I have select star picked so because of that and we have something called um, data sense that's available in MuleSoft that goes out and then pulls in the metadata of all the columns from that specific table if I wanted to reduce the load I could have picked you know I could have selected four or five of these columns because now based on the metadata I know what the names of these columns are so I could have put that here instead of doing a select star that would most likely made my mapping simple but either way um, so now that I have this information what I can do is I can go to my browser and then refresh this to say get me the products and what it does is goes out and queries my products table and then it's listing out these fields right. if I switch over to my my SQL workbench I can I can come in and say you know run run this and then this is going to be the same products that's actually being displayed um, you know chai and all of these components these are different products right notice in here I see that there's certain you know f products that are in order and there's certain in stock so maybe the information I care about is not just that but I want to know not just you know what's in what's in stock what's in order but the state of it right so what I could do is simply come in here and just say units maybe we could do actual units and just take the stock and then subtract that by the ones in order so data weave allows me to make these simple changes so that now when I save this and wait for a second for this application to get deployed yep looks like it's going now um, what I can do is go back to my browser and do a refresh and it's actually doing the subtraction and showing me oh you know these this this product here we don't have actual units because the ones in order the number in order is actually greater than what we have in stock it's a very simple way to provide that information make it available via an API okay so the next example I'm going to do is we're going to take a look at this WSDL this web service if I go into my connector configuration I can see you know this is the WSDL that I'm calling right so let me go back to my browser and make sure this is functioning so yes it's a functioning WSDL um, now what I want to do is simply call this uh, but maybe call this operation called get order by ID this whistle defines there's other operations that I call I can call but just to make it keep it simple I'm gonna call this and then pass in a variable the variable here is gonna be this variable called order ID that I'm gonna pass in as a query parameter and then now my data data weave is just gonna take that flow variable and then format my XML to a format like this so it passes in the order ID and then I'm going to call this website web service consumer and simply return the payload so up until now I'm not doing anything that important just yet right so if I go back to my browser and type in localhost get order by ID and call it 
well there it goes so it this order ID got passed in and made that web service a call and it's returned me the payload that it got back right now if you wanted to we can simply use MuleSoft as a proxy so rather than going directly to this um, to this services um, website which you know which could be hosted internally now I can just use MuleSoft as a proxy and this could be deployed to Cloud Hub where I can act as a as a gateway and then apply my policies to make sure I manage secure and govern these APIs or the next use case what I'm going to do is I'm going to translate that web services message into a REST call into a, into a JSON format so everything else is going to be this the same but uh, but in this case but here what I'm going to do is you know format the data so that it returns a JSON format right so we're simply just like we've seen before we're taking that data weave and we're formatting um, the the return payload and then we want to map it out in the format that we want okay so what I'm expecting is a JSON file with ID status total price and order ID okay so instead of just doing this I'm gonna say rest and there it goes so here's my order ID much more consumable much more readable much more easier to understand than that other XML value that we're reading okay now you know once I have this once I'm ready to go uh, ready to deploy what I can do is come in here and say I want to deploy this to cloud which is going to run um, this service in MuleSoft's cloud cloud hub which is our integration platform as a service and then um, depending on what our use cases are we can simply use it as a proxy or define this uh, the, this wrapper where we wrap our web service call um, with rest and the data being in the JSON format okay well thank you for watching